We'll see, we'll see, we'll find out. Okay, so we'll- Whoa! Holy crap, no! No! <laughs> no! I just lost all my shit! Hey guys, how's it going? Masbro here and we're back at our survival world and today we're gonna be doing a three-part video. We've already posted how to make the automatic item sorter and we're gonna make the automatic lava bin today and uh, on the next episode we're gonna uh, hide our redstone components on our item sorter and lava bin and we'll make a sexy pathway behind it to make things look good and if you have any ideas for future episodes just let me know in the comments section below. So we're here at our iron farm and okay there's two reasons why you might want to have an automatic lava bin maybe there's uh, even more than that but well for one if you have an automatic item sorter like I've already explained in my last episode and you need to throw away some items for example here we have an iron farm picking up iron from those chests over there and we're putting our iron on this side and then we're also putting our uh, waste poppies on this side having an automatic item disposal system is very useful so that the poppies or the unwanted items do not stack so this is uh, our lava bin down below and we can just put in for example dirt in here and you can see that this uh, dropper here will chug out all of the unneeded material okay so this is what we're gonna build today and the reason why you want a trash disposal system is well one it's satisfying and two you just don't want things lying around and as opposed to lava there's le less chance of killing yourself uh, although ironically yeah you've probably se seen the intro already anyway um, this chest here is uh, the chest that will receive the items that will go into the trash disposal system that we are building behind it so let's just start straight away for our lava bin it's a place where we can just uh, dump things in uh, to trash um, our unneeded loot we're gonna need two observers one dropper one redstone comparator uh, one sticky piston uh, well some lava and just uh, some blocks uh, you might want to have a chest and a hopper as well that may might make things a little bit easier too but I mean not 100% necessary so okay shovel shovel time so let's dig out uh, let's, let's excavate the area a little bit next uh, to here so that we can build our lava bin disposal system so what we're gonna do here is just uh, dig up this area and just dig it a fair bit so you have a lot of uh, room to well to build stuff so I'll just uh, start digging here. I don't know how much space I need, but we'll just dig more than we actually need to. Yada yada yada, and probably on this side as well, just to make it easier for us to view the build. And we'll need to just dig a little bit underneath here as well. Oh. Okay, and okay, let me think, let me think. I'm trying to remember how this works. Okay, it's time for us to grab the components that we need. Uh, sticky piston, one dropper, two observers, one redstone comparator, and just some blocks. I'll, I'll be using this block. Okay, okay, we'll need to dig just a little bit deeper on this side. It'll make life easier, so just uh, dig a few blocks down like so. Okay, so I've dug up this area a fair bit and this is where the lava hole will be so we'll just dig that down that's where the lava will go into and i'll just place a smooth stone over there just for my ocd and okay so we need a dropper facing downwards over here and uh, achieve that by placing a block up top temporarily uh, and we'll find our dropper where is it okay there's my dropper and we go underneath and just uh, click like so and it's facing downwards and i just totally trapped myself okay but i still i can still get out that's fine we'll just put that stone block here again and it's time to place our lava like so and let's just place some uh, red stained glass all around it like so and it's time to install our circuit so this is the design that we'll use i do believe this design was uh, originally made by zizumov let's make the exact st same thing over on that side okay so let's start by placing a sticky piston facing upwards over on this block like so and we need to grab our comparator and it should uh, face outwards like so and we need to place an observer 
nope, not not that direction. We face the comparator and uh, right click like like so, and I think we got it right this time. Okay, so this arrow should face outwards. Okay, so we need the other observer uh, facing the other direction. So I'll need to break this block temporarily. I'll stand up over. I'm gonna trap myself, aren't I? But uh, I I'll just break that block over there. Place a dirt block here and we'll place our observer like so. Okay, as you can see, the arrows here are facing towards different directions. So again, don't forget this chest here, that's your input to the disposal system. I mean, what you can do is you can just use, for example, uh, the dropper straight away for the disposal. So that actually works, but if you want things to be just a little bit more elegant, just place a hopper running from the chest to uh, the dropper like so okay and um well i i can't really access the chest from here but uh, we'll go up above okay i think that's just right and let's just try and throw something in uh bone okay that's if, if you see that thing pushing up that means it's working so let's try again and throw something useless uh maybe this dirt and as you can see voila working perfectly. So here we are up above and this here is the trash disposer. If you put things into this chest, it'll throw things into the lava via the disposal system. Well, you can just throw stuff in the lava, but this is just a lot more satisfying. So put one in and it's gone. If we put a few more, you'll hear the clicks and that means that it's, uh, dis it's disposing your stuff. And if we click again, it should be gone. That is satisfying. Right. So now all we gotta do is just uh, hide this circuitry as uh, we really don't need that to show. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna throw this away. We don't need that anymore. And we're gonna, I think we'll, we'll just build something cool over there later on. Like for example, we can probably make um, a little house in the corner or a little resting area. We'll see, we'll see, we'll find out. Okay, so we'll, whoa, holy crap, no. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I just lost all my shit! Oh god! No! <gasps> Alright! Great! Oh, good job! Good job! Good job! <laughs> Uh, well, it's it's sort of sad, but it's sort of good to have that in the re recording. <laughs> well, okay, let's see how fast I can recover from that. I have emerald, so I go to this guy, I grab a diamond pickaxe. That's pretty funny, actually. Um, it's kind of sad. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had some nice loot in there. Uh, fucking lava. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna grab this, and let's hope that does not happen a second time. That... That's not cool, I just lost a lot of loot, but I'm glad, I'm glad they were, I, oh god, I lost all my dirt. I'm gonna need to farm a bit, okay. Damn, alright. Well, that was a little bit embarrassing to be honest, but... <laughs> I think I won't actually cut that out. Alright folks, so we've covered up our automatic lava bin over here already and things are looking pretty good. Uh, if you haven't already checked my automatic uh, item sorter video, it's already up on my YouTube channel. And we're gonna also do an episode after this one on how to create a, a natural looking pathway like this one here. Uh, I gotta say, I really like the way this looks. I think it's quite nice and we'll be adding a few more things to it as well. So I hope I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, with that said, thanks for stopping by. The name is Masbro. Do consider subscribing to the channel and maybe liking or uh, saying a comment in the video i'd love to hear from you guys and if you have any ideas for future episodes do let me know all right i guess that's it masbro signing out see you guys next time